Hey, welcome back to some more way too. It's been a hot minute since we last played. <laughs> well, this version anyway. I feel like we've been on a black two train for a while. Why is there this one little piece of snow right here? It was snowing earlier. It hasn't melted yet. <laughs> well, in the last one, we explored around Driftdale City, and then um, we got some of the trainers taken care of on Route 6 and whatnot, and all my Pokemon are up to speed. Uh, Maggie evolved, <laughs> and I was too lazy to record it. <laughs> uh, seems about right, but you know, it's 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 a Stoutland. She's a she's a cutie, big old mustache. Yep, and with the Timmy. Yep. And uh, when uh, we get over to the Pokemon World Tournament, we get to go over with the, a Heart Scale and go teach her either Ice Fang, Thunder Fang, or Fire Fang. Yep, Goggles is still not evolved yet. We know he's so stupid. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. You mean she's so stupid? It's so stupid. <laughs> and well, then Leo and Apple and Charlotte and Maggie. All right. This is gonna be an interesting time. This this might be this might be the toughest gym leader yet. Yeah. But it seems like we didn't battle the the black two one right before this and fucking Molly Wop with bins. <laughs> well, I don't think you understand that that team. We actually have uh, we had like. Four grass types, a water type, and then and, and law. <laughs> Actually, I guess we had three grass types: a water type, crocodile, and yeah. and law. In this one, we have a grass and bug type. Yeah. Da, 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 That's da, da. all. that's super effective against this Pokemon. It's fine. We're good. It is this way, right? Yep. Well, yeah. With the, I mean, with this one, we don't really have to worry about the level cap that much. Yeah, it's all and good we, though. And we have plenty of Moo Moo Milks. Challenging the gym, huh? Nice, keep getting stronger. Let me tell you though, play's tough. Even if all you have <sighs> to use against water types is ground Even if all you have to use against <laughs> ground types is water types, <laughs> Pokemon, you might still be in for a rough fight. Thank you for your words of wisdom. I'm gonna ignore you. Yeah. We don't have any water types. I have a grass type, <sighs> and it's also a bug, and it's we can get strong! <laughs> for some reason I expected to run into that and for it to send us down. <laughs> Dumbass. Also, during this recording, I will either uh, scream with happiness or cry in a feral position. Because I am currently bidding on a keychain right now. <laughs> and I am winning this bitch. And it ends in 10 minutes. <laughs> oh, I'm glad that that's so important that... Oh. Well, just between you and me, ground-type Pokemon aren't good against water-type attacks. Yeah, they also don't like grass or ice type attacks. Oh, and in this gym, the area you walk on will light up. Where you've been is a hint of where you need to go. All right, I think I memorized the pattern from where you when, went. When you were, when I was just digging around, and being like, "It's this way, right? No, it's this way, right?" And you're like, "Yeah," and then you pulled up the map. <laughs> no, I didn't pull up the map. I was looking at the trainers, cause there, cause there's seven trainers in this gym. Yeah, I mean, most of them are optional. I don't. Hmm. A ground psychic type? Yeah, Maggie. we can deal with this. <laughs> How though? <laughs> Get it and bite it to death. Yay! Oh, sorry, Maggie. What? She bit him. No, we have to put her down. <laughs> <laughs> I might have lost, but I'm going to continue to believe in my Pokemon. Yeah, you should. Your one ball toy is not doing that great. <laughs> Clay's awesome. He could t just tell if minerals will be there. Got it? Another way to say it is that Clay will be wherever there are oodles of ores. Yeah. I don't like your tone, mister. Yeah, I don't like your sass right now. Oh my god, look at all the area that we can go to. Alright, so it looks like we go this way. The one you meet when you get on this conveyor is none other than me, Dio! You made me that joke. <laughs> Not in this one. Yeah, I guess. People watching both of the, like both the playthrough and those are being like, "Oh my god, say the line, bro!" <laughs> oh my god, we um, right before we recorded, we ate knockoff Chipotle and we um and we watched SVU. Oh my god, that last season was fucking crazy. Yeah. Yeah, it was uh, it was the final episode of season eight. Holy shit. If, if you've watched SVU, you know what we're talking about. If you haven't, then... Watch it. 
Oh my goodness, it, it, it kind of goes crazy. Yeah, it was, it was like a kind of like a part two to win the other cases. I think earlier in that season, right? Yeah. Yeah, and uh... Don't spoil anything in case anyone's watching. It came out in 2005! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean we're watching it now, aren't we? Yeah. What if one of what if one of your favorite, uh, what if one of your favorite sh streamers slash YouTubers slash internet sensations, uh, where, <laughs> happened to spoil you on something that you were just now watching? Yeah, you're right. Let's uh, let's just say the, ca the case went crazy. Sure. Yeah. I mean, like, everyone was in, like, hot water all for different reasons that episode, and then Munch was just kind of, like, chilling there and just giving his two cents every once in a while. Yeah. And then, like, at the end they showed, like, everyone having to face the consequences of their actions, and then, like, and Munch is, like, not to be seen because he didn't do anything. <laughs> he was not involved in that first part at all. <laughs> yeah. So he was just kind of, like, commentating over what was happening with, like, core and police shit. Honestly, it was very much a munch moment. He be munch munch crunching. Certified munch moment. Oh, he oh, it's just one there. <sighs> and, then, and then we go like this, and then we we go like this, and then there's gems everywhere, and then we go this way. And then, oh, oh, and they were here. <laughs> I told you I remembered the way. I oh, said, I love that he's surrounded by gems and one air conditioner. <laughs> you gotta stay cool. Yeah. Alright, so what's the, what's the, what are you doing? Alright, so what I'm doing... Healing. Good job. Right. You didn't want to use a moo moo milk? No. Oh. No! <laughs> okay. Alright, what's the, what's the plan? It's right. gonna leave with Crocodorak. I'll show you the plan. Actually, you know what? This is fine. What a great plan! Alright, this, this. You didn't even read any of it! We didn't even get to make a dream joke. I'm sorry, I was just so in tune with my plan that. Yeah. I forgot to be a uh, boy howdy. You forgot to be a, a southerner. Yeah. There was, um. Oh, there is a moment I keep remembering since we've been playing the Unibar region and whatnot. Is uh, th this YouTuber I, I watch, Salty BK Dan, very funny and whatnot. He did a he did a friend lock, which is a Nuzlocke, but his friends control po his the Pokemon and whatnot. So they kind of get to choose if they learn moves or what they want to be switched out or what moves they do and whatnot. And if they die, they just remove their friend for the call like they fucking die. <laughs> And, uh, I remember when they went up against Clay, they, they lost, and, like, six of his friends got murdered, and then, uh, when they did the comeback, they went, like... Impressive. That's some strength you've got. And was like, yeah, fuck Clay. That guy's an asshole. He's a conservative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're like, if, if he wins, we're gonna do, like, hashtag Clay is over party, not realizing that Dream's real name was Clay. So when people saw the, the tag trending on Twitter, they thought that Drew was being cancelled because at that exact same time, his Twitter got privated and his private Twitter got removed. It, I can't remember, his Twitter got either privated so no one could see it or it got removed entirely so they thought like something bad happened. And So you saw like, like Salty DK dance fan, like fans making fun of like, oh my god, you beat up that fucking southerner bitch. He's he's homophobic. <laughs> and then you see Dream fans being like, stop attacking Dream. He, he just wanted to play Minecraft. And then you get the K-pop fans posting about their favorite stand. <laughs> oh, it was beautiful. I, I still remember it. I was I was there in the live stream when it was going on. I think I tweeted out a uh, hashtag Clay is over party. It was it was I still think about it when I when I play Unova or I like, think about the Univirgin. Oh thank God! I heard a, a, a dog dying in the distance. <laughs> the All music good. started picking no, up. No worries. Yeah, Maggie about to dial over again. I'm sorry. <laughs> It's so messed up. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I told you literally earlier to think <laughs> before you, you you mentioned things. Well, this is a Nuzlocke. This is not a Nuzlocke. Yeah. Oh, we actually finally get to see it use. 
Oh, but it's gonna tank our speed like crazy. It's fine. The one thing Levani has is its speed. Also, this music's very loud. I'm gonna have to turn this down my headset. Holy shit. Owie! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> we're, we're weak against rock because we're bugged. Yeah, use your citrus berry kaiba. Why? My grandfather's deck has no weak cards, Kaiba. This card is useless! <laughs> I learned I learned about that one. Of the like the edit that people like, like, oh send you to the shadow realm. Like all those lines come from the like the four kids dubbed and whatnot, where they replace some of the words. So all the iconic shit came from those four voice actors. Bye, Charlotte. <laughs> okay, that's that's fucked up. I didn't think Bulldoze was gonna do that much damage. Yes, I'm gonna. Oh, Leo could be pretty good. You can't use it. You need acrobatics. He has Rock Slide. Yay! He's fucking bind. Do Bulldoze hurt hit him if he's digging? I know Earthquake does. I hate this game. Alright, why don't we, uh, send Leo in? We can use acrobatics. It's yeah, like 150. Like, like, against the steel type? I don't know, it's our most powerful move. We can't use electric ball. We can try double team, yeah. Rockslide has like, what, a 90% chance of hitting? I don't know, we'll see. It's probably a 100% chance. Alright, we avoided it. Fuck it. Oh my god, we're gonna be annoying as shit. I love being annoying as shit. <laughs> Alright, if he lands one rock slide, we're probably dead. Yeah. Alright, nice. Love this game. Oh, we're not dead. Oh my god, well, just- okay, yeah, yeah, heal. Wait, yeah, no, no, no. Just throw it at her. <laughs> just- Surely it doesn't hit another rock slide. Oh, medical. Well, might as well- I mean, the only- we have pursuit or acrobatics? <laughs> that was a crit?! Yeah, and he's gonna heal- Oh up. my god, we are useless! <laughs> You think you'll switch out with use Pursuit? <laughs> did he even send out the Slam Slash? Yeah. I oh, it did, it's because the music's different. <laughs> I forget where we are sometimes. All good, I not even a... worried. Not even worried. I have a question. If he hits us with Metal Claw, will he become paralyzed if he touches us, or no? I don't know. I couldn't remember if Static works like that. Not even Still close, not even more. worried. No, it's probably gonna be a damage range. Oh. Yeah! Critical hit! Thank goodness. When the world needed it most. <laughs> he pulled through. Man oh man, it feels good to go all- You had a controller, you saw how fast that thing went. <laughs> Whew, you're really something. Little whippersnapper trainers who pack a real punch keep showing up one after another. Huh. Here, take this. What, what what even is this? <laughs> yeah, what is that supposed to? I don't understand the lightning bolt, the little wing thing, the the, the basic badge because it's basic. But what is this supposed to be? I think it's supposed to be te two te no, two tectonic plates. Cause oh, because that, that's how you create an earthquake. Oh shit! Cameron, you're so smart. Can you make that with me? <laughs> that's gay. If that's no, so, Pokemon right. up to level sixty will abate. No, gosh, I just had. I just had a hiccup real bad. I thought you were about to throw up in your mouth, sorry. <laughs> no, I, I just hiccuped really bad. You ever you ever have that happen where you just like hiccup mid mid sentence? Yeah. Oh, I get hiccups really fucking bad. It sounds like I'm dying and everyone yeah, I looks at me concerned. Yeah, yeah, if, if I don't know if anyone's heard from streams or anything, but whenever she's hiccuping, she's like, <laughs> <laughs> I do not really fucking sound like that, you asshole. Oh fuck Here, yeah. Take this too. I won my bid. <laughs> Good job. I got my box keychain now. I'll get that well, standing I something. suppose. Come this away. Is there which cart? I'm gonna have to buy this after uh, we're done. Oh, here it is, yeah. So that I won and... Good dancers are crucial for putting on a good show. <sighs> Thanks, Clay. The, the fuck does that mean, old man? It means good to pole dancing. Also, that's his basic operation. The, like, there's no like shitty doors that like that could be like go into his like 
little office. It's just like a reception area, and then it just goes into the underground where he just sits in a room, uh, in a rubber room with rats. <laughs> I mean, think about it. Iris in in the the other one, she just like sits at the very top of this dragon pillar. Yeah, but and like just sits there. But that's his whole business thing. Like he mines gems and like sells it for cash. You would think like. Well, I mean, he probably hears that they have a, a gym challenger, and so he just get it goes from like, yeah. But they could at least put like a shitty like a like a door that's blocked by an NPC and be like, "Sorry, you don't have an appointment to go see Mr. Clay in his office." Well, that's know. what the receptionist is for. Yeah, but there's no door. Anyway, read your line. <laughs> I mean, uh, whatever. You got a gym badge too. I know you could do it. You know, my partners are the reason I was able to get that badge. But I'm sure there's more connecting us to each other than Pokeballs. If that's all there is, the stolen Perloin's feelings will never be what they were. He has, um... Oh, so you two squirts knew each other, huh? You both ain't bad, so I want to show you something. Wait, I just remembered. Clay, why? What's the reason? Why have you forgiven Team Plasma? There's always room for folks to grow and change, ain't there? And if you only go after what you think is right, you might end up rejecting all the thoughts and opinions other than your own. That's mighty dangerous. Hmph. <laughs> is that one of those compromises adults are supposed to make? Whatever, I'm gonna fight Team Plasma. Oh yeah, what were you wanting to show us? You ever heard of the Pokemon World Tournament? Trainers from all over the world gather up on to see who's toughest. Well then, I'll be waiting for you at the south end of town. Thanks, Clay. A tournament to decide your strongest, huh? Right on, it's time for some special training. Yeah, so special that your Pokemon are gonna be capped at level 25. Oh damn, who are we gonna bring for this? We can only bring three. Hmm. Alright, so we need something we good against. against. Cora's, normal types, and then our other. Alright, so our starter is a. Yeah, we're bringing Charlotte. But it also has that that Bellamy thing. Uh, like Charles can be good against his metal Pokemon and Charon's normal types because it's fire fighting. We'll and bring then, Leo. Yeah, for the Oshawott. Duot. It's a Duot now. And then other things. <laughs> Lunar Dance? I've never what the fuck seen is that. Lunar? Hold on, I'm gonna look that up. What the fuck is Lunar Dance? Oh, that's the, um... That's the Relic Passage. In I go. Don't you dare. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing that later! Lunar Dance. That cave down there is the Relic Passage. It was recently discovered, but amazingly, it's... Wait, wait where, where was it connected to again? Huh? Huh? <laughs> the sewer. Oh! Lunar Dance, Psychic, do? Status. Reminder Girl. <laughs> sure. What moves can you learn? Can you give me a description of what the fuck this does? Ah. For fuck's sake. The Fangs. Oh, uh, I see. We can learn Ice Fang, Fire Fang, or Thunder Fang. Lunar Dance. The user faints. In return, the Pokemon taking its place will have its status and HP fully restored. Oh. Lunar Dance is a non-damaging psychic type move introduced in Gen 4. It's one of the signature moves of Crestilia. Oh. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, so you see, like, it casts a little moon and then, like, buffs up and then kills itself. <laughs> oh, Maggie's hidden power is poison. Oh, I mean, yeah. the only thing poison is good against is grass, and we have Charlotte. Oh, what the? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It just pulls you in like a, like a planet. Good analogy. Here we are. <laughs> what do you think? Great building, huh? Here's where the Pokemon World Tournament takes place. Ain't you pretty? Follow me, Tads. I feel like a dancing dragon right now. I'm riding my bicycle into this world tournament. This time, I'm gonna have you participate in the Driftvale tournament. Anything goes in this here tournament. Eight people will be participating, and if you win three times, you're the champion. Why did you call me to? I am busy looking into something. 
Oh, I'm trying to calculate how to get bitches. You know something, Sharon? I fucking hate you. <laughs> it wasn't that bad in the first game. The one who's gonna show everyone what Pokemon battling means is you, unfortunately. <laughs> and your pal ain't here either. I'm counting on the power of youth, because everyone likes up and coming stars. Okay, whenever you're ready, get on over to reception. Man, oh man, you never change, Clay. Just trying to find more miners a dream. <laughs> I thought I thought we would go this entire episode without mentioning. It's a guy named Clay. What are we supposed to do? But the tournament itself does look pretty fun. <laughs> okay, I'll go register. I was wondering how that comedic effect would uh would be. Mm -hmm. Me too. Phoenix, come on, let's have some fun. We'll battle, plain and simple. Alright, bitch. Since, since I did it in black too, camera gets to do it in white too. Yeah, but you're gonna watch how easily I'm able to wreck mm -hmm. these fools. I was, it was, we didn't lose a single person in that. So I'd say we did pretty good. Alright, who are we bring? Okay, Charlotte's leading, and then Leo, and then, okay, Apple, okay. You didn't want to remember the trap one. <laughs> no. Oh, I almost did the thing. Unfortunately, right. as much as I love goggles, and goggles has like the best nature, uh, goggles ain't very strong until goggles evolves. Yeah, we need a verb in that. The Driftvale Tournament Single Battle. These are the Pokemon trainers who enter this tournament. The Driftvale Tournament now starts now. Oh, the first comer, Phoenix enters. I, I, I just went. <laughs> Sorry. You're like shut the fuck up, narrator. I was yawning, and so I was I accidentally just pressed at the same time. Who pushes his limits in order to find his important Pokemon, as he tells everyone. He, uh, Boy's he... got some drama. <laughs> First round, Hugh versus Phoenix. Look at her little sprite. Clay sure likes things loud and flashy, doesn't he? Well, whatever. It's time to go all out. Is it weird that I don't expect this from Clay? Like the, this World Tournament thing of like flashy lights and whatnot. Like, I expected this from, like, shit in, like, in Mombasa City, but I guess since they have this subway thing, they gotta put the tournament thing somewhere else. Yeah. So why did we- oh. Where do I forfeit the match? <laughs> There's, um... I mean, like, I- It feels weird that they don't got- Don't confuse, don't confuse, don't confuse, don't confuse. It feels weird that they got rid of the coal storage so fast. It's been two years, and they're like, oh, I guess we don't need shipping containers anymore, or this giant freezer. It's been two years, Daddy. I really, really miss you. Your Civic Sage stands no chance against my flying squirrel. Yeah. I love acrobatics so much. I love when, uh, my favorite thing to do was, uh, get a flying gem and put it on. It would activate, and, like, uh, because, like, use acrobatics activates the flying gem, so it, like, boosts the flying type move. But then it, acrobatics raises it, it's not holding it in, so it boosts it even more. Yeah. Yeah. That That's really good. Anyway, the first round is Phoenix! Still, <laughs> your Pokemon sure looks like they're having a lot of fun when they battle. Are you about to do Teach's voice? Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> check out the other matches! Turn your attention to the giant screen! Wow, Colorus and round. Charon literally shat on these other two people! Yeah, the job dragging seesaw match! The winner is Phoenix! First round, Charon versus Kelly. It was a total one-sided game. Charon won the battle. Yeah, Kelly, you were crap. First round, Colorus versus Brick. It was a lopsided battle. The winner is Colorus. Burke, you're dog crap too. First round, Bob Kid. Okay, and Corissa. What a surprising match! The winner is Corissa! Let's move on to the next battle. Win! <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> and this corner, the young Pokemon trainer battling for his ideals, Charon. Everyone likes to trauma dump to me for some reason. Charon, roar. Second round, Charon versus Phoenix. I am thrilled I can be- I can be able to battle you with- oh wait, fuck. <laughs> I am thrilled as 
I can be to battle here against you. The first tr challenger I battled as a gym leader. I'm sure you've learned something about Pokemon during your journey. Now I'm going to see if your bond with your Pokemon have grown stronger. How did you stop yourself, regroup, and then continue <laughs> to mess it up again? <laughs> it's a talent. <laughs> yeah, one of a kind talent. I can I can say that for certain. Mm -hmm. You're only fun of me. I'm shy. <laughs> Just, just, uh, I don't think shy is the correct word. I think I think there's a multitude of other words that are, that work instead. She's a little guy. I'm just. Why is it always two times? I don't know. Because we have two arms. <laughs> that was a good one. High five. <laughs> I'm gonna arm thrust you instead. You already did that already. <laughs> oh. Fuck! <laughs> Stop tackling me, you bitch! I almost woke. Oh, that's actually pretty good. We get a speed boost for next Pokemon. Yeah, why do you think I did it? <laughs> I just said it was a good idea, and <laughs> you're like, yeah, no shit, bitch! <laughs> I'm telling your mom. Hit four times, hit four times. <laughs> <laughs> it's singing to you. I gotta say, I love uh, Chinchino's uh, like hair fluff. It reminds me a lot of Velvet from Has Been Hotel, because she's she's a very much like a fashion designer, and she changes her like hair and appearance and every both scene. Dead. Some more than others. <laughs> I've been- I just- hold on, let's see if I can find a picture. I took a picture- He bit me! Yeah, this is a fucking rat! Oh, eBay let me know I won. <laughs> After I already knew that. Hold on, I wanna see if I find a picture. I took a picture of it. Where did I go? I took a picture of it. I'm sad. You and your Pokemon have grown much stronger. Couldn't- I can't- I forgot where I put it. <laughs> your cock is twisted! <laughs> The winner of the second round is Phoenix! I made it I made it where I am because the Pokemon were by my side. Perhaps we need to think about why Pokemon help us, not in terms of Pokemon and trainers, but as a relationship between living beings. Now if you excuse me, I need to go change my diaper. <laughs> Let's check out the other match on the giant screen! Second round, Phoenix versus Jaren. What a tremendous battle. The survivors, what do you mean survivor? It's fucking Cameron Molly whooped. <laughs> Second round, Korez versus Carissa. It was a total one-sided game. Korez won the battle. Which trainer will win the Drift Fail Tournament? It comes down to this match. Phoenix enters. This will be the first title win. <laughs> Freak! <laughs> the fail tournament, the final round! The opponent is entering the arena! Everyone shut the fuck up! <laughs> it's Korez, his wish is to bring out the power of Pokemon! Can we find more normal people that don't have problems? <laughs> <laughs> Fine! The final round, Korez versus Phoenix! Well, you boo. As a researcher, it is the truth that the ideal things should be that I seek. Ideal way things should be that I s Sorry, I messed up that one really bad. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's wrong with you. <laughs> the latent power of Pokemon. What is the best way to bring it out? If possible, I want it to be the trust between trainers and their Pokemon, just as it always has been. Has been? <laughs> has been with <laughs> I look forward to you teaching me that this is indeed true. I mean, I found my drawing. I drew Velvet and Box, and then before you could see Val, <laughs> it was a shitty doodle. And then and Leslie was like, "No, show the show the Val drawing. Like it's a little doodle, and I don't have it anymore. I'm sorry." I drew Velvet. I love drawing Velvet. She's such a cool because you can do her hair whatever you want and whatnot. She has like 
where it's just in one ponytail, then she has like the pigtails, and then she has like the like the furrow, they have like the one in the bun, she does whatever she wants with it. Honestly, I kind of like that about her, because a lot of times with cartoons, like both in like adult ones and kid cartoons, characters have a set wardrobe, they wear the same shirt, pants, and shoes in every goddamn scene they are in, and whatnot, so it's nice to see a character that changes them. Kind of like Mabel in, uh, in Gravity Falls, she constantly changed sweaters, and I think that was really cool. Thank Again, you, it's supposed to be easy. for your TED talk. I, I get it's supposed to be easy work for them, because like it's easier to keep using the same rescan after rescan of the same character for better, like to, for quicker animation purposes and whatnot. Get the process. If you already know what a character looks like, you already know the inconsistencies of them pumped up. Then to like keep changing outfits, I get it. <laughs> but I don't know. It's nice, it's nice to see the little detail. Yeah. Funny. Fuck. <laughs> uh oh. Oh yeah. I forgot. I was like, oh, I can't hear the gears hitting or skin. I'm like, oh, I just gotta put on the other side of the headset. Ooh, I think I eat that knock off Chipotle too fast. I've been burping and almost drawing up like crazy. <laughs> well done. I learned much from this battle. I see, with, with the way that you train, that you get a vicious. <laughs> the winner is... <gasps> Look at that little picture! Phoenix! Why does her name look slanted? Does it look slanted to you? No. Does it not on the screen? It looks like it comes up and then it goes beep! No, like with fine. the P, right? You see it? It's just the way the pixels are. Yeah. Just as I expected, your Pokemon must be happy to be by your side. Bring out the best in their power. This includes the Drift Fail Tournament. See you in the next tournament. Wow, thanks. I can't wait to get my one BP point. <laughs> Congratulations on winning the Drift Fail Tournament. Phoenix, as a result of your victory, we'd like to award you this battle point. Why do you say points? It's one. You gave me one point for beating up three people. We helped to see it. You're not seeing me again. <laughs> we might show off the other people, because this is the playthrough one. An outstanding battle, Runts. Now everybody's gonna wait to join. Yeah, everybody's gonna want to join in on this here tournament and show their stuff. Hey, you two! Haven't you got any wild and crazy Pokemon battles to show me? Guess I had to enter the tournament myself and rock the audience right out of their seats. Ma'am, registration's over there. <laughs> She's walked <laughs> See what I mean? People are pouring in already. If the strongest trainers from all over join in, it'll raise up everybody's level of skill. And then little old Driftvale City will grow even more and make a heap of money. So keep on busting these battles and riling everybody up. See ya! Later! I barely recognize you and Phoenix. You two are way different from when we battled in Aspersia City. Traveling with Pokemon makes everyone grow so much. A ginger walked by. <laughs> what was that just now? I'm going after him. Phoenix, come with me. Stop. <laughs> you violated the law. <laughs> the court of fight. <laughs> There's no reason for you to stick your necks into something so dangerous. The Pokemon I'm looking for, my little sister's purloin, it might be with them. I'm going to. I've got his back. I don't understand. That's not courage, it's recklessness. Does he think anything is possible simply because he has Pokemon with him? Yeah. No, no, that's not possible. All trainers in Pokemon are bound to one another by Pokeballs. And maybe it is the bond that will allow trainers to overcome the impossible if they trust their partner Pokemon. I, I was looking at the time, I was like, oh, we're probably at 40 minutes, and it said 34, and I'm like, how the fuck? And I'm like, I realized in Black 2 I was playing, so it went by a lot slower. <laughs> Ultimate moves. Yeah, we don't 
They had to be fully evolved. Go talk to my wife. Yeah, yeah we don't have a... Yeah, yeah they had to be fully evolved. We, we ain't got any of those. Did we get the Rocky helmet from the guy in the corner. The I, I'm talking to all of them. Can you welcome me, helmet? <laughs> Yep, damage is off physical contact. Yay! This trash can's empty. This trash can's empty. empty. This trash can's empty. <laughs> A zing! Who threw this away? There's my buff defense. <gasps> oh, I need to... I need to go over to the, um... The Join Unova and, and set up some shops. Yeah. And get that going. Alright, do you want to... Yeah, might as well. We're at 35 minutes. Doing. Yeah, go, go beat up the po go beat up the team plasma people. Okay. Hit my PP. PP up. PP down. <laughs> a ship only really is a ship when it crosses an ocean. Black ships sure look lonely. <laughs> Gee, it sure is boring around here, huh? <laughs> this ship. Why is it so cold? And. Where is everyone? <laughs> it seems like it's disguised as an old sailboat. But it can't... That, but that can't be it, right? Oh, it's a ginger! Beat him up! <laughs> Why do you care? By the time we're done with you, it won't even matter. Oh, shit. Well... You guys, seriously, this is Team Plasma's base? Well, I guess it's, uh, beat up a ginger day. Alright, <laughs> I'll take these two over here. <laughs> that correct answer! And that's why, as you can see... There are so many of us here! Is this all? I think you need more backup. <laughs> oh, I'm so scared, big tough guy. What are you, 12? Okay, pulverize these punks. Plasma! <laughs> Hey, just to let you know, I'm about to unleash my rage. Oh god. You're first! Don't touch me! You know, speaking back on that point, you know there actually is something, and you might you might want to look this up on your phone, because I What's forget up? exactly what it's called, but there is What's actually a, a, there is actually a beat up a ginger day that is a national thing in, in Australia. Really? <laughs> they like tie ginger people to like a soccer post and will like beat them up. That's like a legitimate Wait, like thing. Kick a and and, and the, just look up Australia beat up a ginger day. No, not kick a ginger day. I, I literally told you what to look up and you ignored me. Sorry, what was it called again? Look up Australian beat up a ginger day. A U S. Beat up a ginger day. Just look up. Look up slang for ginger. Something for ginger hair? Yeah. Day kick. Bluey? No, that's not it. It's something else. Ranga. That's what it is. Look up look up look up Ranga. Like Australian Ranga Day. Australian Ranga Day. It's my turn. Actually, it's Trudish time. I didn't say it right. <laughs> Ever heard of Ranga? I can't find anything. <laughs> uh, it was. I'd I'd have to look it up myself. And people, and you can do your research. But there's an actual day. Like they have they have this. Like I don't know if it's like an official holiday or something. I doubt it's an official holiday. But like there's something where I guess like ten. Maybe they like. Actually, will like tie like a like a ginger and call them a ranga like on a like a. It's time of the original popular apologies for the recently deterioration effect on red-haired people. Well, is this where they tie them to posts and beat the shit out of them? What is with this trainer? It reminds me of that trainer that I messed with us two years ago that we will not name. That's crazy. Was her name also Phoenix? <laughs> oh, now I'm learning about this.
copper top? <laughs> okay, okay, you're clearly not gonna find it. I, I don't know. He made me, like, one of my Australian friends made me, like, look up this, like, specific thing. And it was just about, like, basically beating up gingers. Yeah, and I, I know Kick a Ginger Day, it was, uh, brought because of South Park. Yeah. People used to beat you up in school. Look, you can't tell which is which. <laughs> We have two stout ones. Oh, oh, I thought you meant the crow, I thought you meant the gold bat and the grimer. I'm like, yeah, you can't tell them. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, it's a kick a ginger day. And yeah, I was like, what day is slap a ginger day? <laughs> Did South Park kick part kick a ginger day? National Kick a Ginger Day was inspired by the 2005 episode of South Park called Ginger Kids. The episode highlights prejudice and near. It's beginning. Cartman presents a speech to his class and says, "Where are people or gingers do not have souls? This causes gingers in schools to be discriminated against." And now, <laughs> you want to look it up while I play? Sure. All right. Cause you know how to specifically look it up. It's in your algorithm. So I gotta turn off this music. It's so good. Uh, kick down again. Why not? Oh, it has strength? That's pretty cool. Yeah, alright, I didn't have to do anything. Slap a. a slap a Riga? Slap a Renga, dead. That's not exactly. Uh, I can't remember what I looked up, but. Alright, good job, Maggie. Did you leave your sup with you? Are you even human? I try to use the combination of with you, but yet. Yeah, I know you used to tell me you're like. Oh, we watched some. Um, we watched an old video. Go help Hugh. Okay. Go help Hugh. Talk to him. Oh. Um, <laughs> what bad? Give me back the fucking Thank controller. <laughs> there was um. We were watching like a South Park like a uh, compilation. It was like it showed all the controversies up to a certain point of like every every like, every controversy like in order from like the show's release up until like. I think, two, I think like 2021. I think it was an old, it was an older video, and they brought up Kick a Ginger Day, and then while we were watching it, you're like, oh my god, so that's why people were beating me up in school? And I'm like, yeah, people just came up to me and just kicked the shit. Out of me. Yeah, get abused for being a, a ginger. Yeah, and you're you. I mean, you're a lot taller. You're. I don't know. Cameron, tell us about your experience as a child. <laughs> You tell it. I mean, it's, it's I, I did not come here to have therapy. I came here to play Pokemon <laughs> and to beat up this these fucking Pokemon. What? Well, I, well, I, well, I want to hear it again. Didn't, weren't you just mo mainly confused why people were just beating, you, like just kicking you? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. And then here you are learning way after college that it was from a South Park episode. Yep. Watchog. I'm gonna kill that thing immediately. Remember the the most controversial one that I still remember is the the episode of Superhero Friends where they have all like the like the religious figures. Oh yeah. And there was like Muhammad. Yeah, they showed a picture of Muhammad and everyone like the the people were very offended by it and they boycotted the episode to the point that they had to remove it. Because they didn't like his depict- They didn't like that he was even drawn to begin with, right? Yeah. And I remember a lot of networks coming out during that time being like, Didn't, didn't fucking Family Guy make a joke about the, that whole situation? Like, he was supposed to show up with like a- Like, Muhammad Ali was supposed to show up with like a bad- and a, I don't know, he was supposed to show up at Peter Griffin's front door, and then like, right before he opens the door is a black screen to like, He cannot be pictured, so he would just be an invisible character. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I, I don't remember. Yeah. I don't remember. I'm... I wish I got to watch the episode. I want to see how it was drawn. I'm probably, you probably just look it up and someone was like, here, it's a screenshot of the episode before I got taken down. Yeah. But I remember when they, he was showing up later, it's a it's a black bar that says censored <laughs> all over his body and he doesn't, no one can hear him speak. <laughs> That's the last of them. Well now, why don't you tell me everything you know about Perloin? Oh my goodness! Good idea. There is a lot of things I want to ask you about as well. Wait, right, what's going on? What's going on? Oh, shit, what? Oh, good grief. 
You're the person that was shivering in the cold storage, right? Wasn't your name Ziggelin? You're going to have to tell me what you're planning to do on this ship. You! Once again, we will use the legendary dragon-type Pokémon and we will rule the Unova region! Curious trainers, we shall not let you run, run around as you please. Shadow Trion, get them out of here! By the way, we are not your... I know, but kick them out of here now! Move. Where the fuck did they- <laughs> the Shadow Triad. What's their deal anyway? Ah, oh, Team Plasma, where did you vanish to? Yeah, how the fuck did they leave so fast? The Shadow Triad. With their superhuman powers, they can immobilize people and then disappear. But I'm more concerned about what Zygon said. Once again, we will use the legendary Dragon-type Pokémon, and we will rule over the Unova region. What could that mean? The legendary Dragon-type Pokémon, Rusharm and Zekrom, aren't in Unova anymore. Phoenix, here's something I- there's something I want to look into, so I'm going to head to Route 6. Be careful out there. Alright, I need to ask you, so... Yeah, what's up? That, that, that dude's name, right? Spelled Z-I-N-Z... O-L-I-N. Yeah. I saw the spelling. Okay, so pronounce Zin that for me. Zin Zillin? There you go. Why did you say Zingolin? <laughs> <laughs> Where'd the G come from? <laughs> Please, I need to know. <laughs> Where did it come from? <laughs> Where did it go? <laughs> I'm sorry. Alright, time to heal up our Pokemon. They did a good job. Yeah, I'm just dumb. Don't worry about it. <sighs> well, good recording. <laughs> <laughs> Made lots of progress. Yeah, now we get to go through Churchstone Cave. And then, I think the Nuzlocke is actually going to be behind. Yeah, well that's that should be... Yeah. Yeah. Because I was just thinking, the next time we record Black 2, we're going to have to beat up the plasma people on the ship, and then we're gonna go try to catch Volcarona. Yep. So we'll be we'll be a little bit behind in Black Two, but that's okay. Yeah, that means Mercanto. You guys get to see us try to catch a fire type. I'm going to cry if we run into a, like a bolt toy in that room because there's an encounter in there. If we run into that and we get that as an encounter, I will cry. I will well, cry. We, we can just bring the repels. Yeah, I will still cry if it happens. All right. Well. Till next time. Yep. Bye. Bye. Bye.